the heart of a small community now underwater. The cleanup is beginning in towns and villages like Castel Bolognese, and residents are trying to come to terms with what happened. We couldn't imagine something this big. We have found ourselves with more than one meter of water in front of the house. Here, there is the sign of the level the water reached. We were stranded on the second floor and waited for this to be over. A lot of things went wrong, but it could have been worse. An hour's drive away in the town of Cesena, the devastation is also sinking in for Raffaella Zani. My married life is over here, she says, pointing to a rubbish bin as her husband looks on. The water damaged their wedding album beyond repair. All the memories finished, she says, through her tears. On top of precious memories and the lives lost, this crisis represents yet another blow to Emilia Romagna's agricultural sector. Italy's National Farmers Union, Coldoretti, estimates 5,000 farms are now underwater across the region. Farmers here have faced drought last summer, a winter with very little rain, and now these devastating floods. Dio. Ma. Local authorities also say there's still a risk of more landslides, with hundreds already reported. Here in Rome, the Italian government has pledged 20 million euros of assistance, and that's on top of 10 million that was allocated for previous flooding. The Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni, will also host a crisis meeting on Tuesday next week when she returns from the G7 summit in Japan. Giles Gibson for CGTN in Rome.